Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. I got this. Uh, I got this question from. Uh, I think maybe a YouTube person who's watching the channel. Okay, dear Sabir, I admire. Uh, I I won't say the name in case you don't want me to say the name. So I'll try not to say your name. But you might want me to say your name, but I don't know. You haven't given me permission. So anyway, I admire your videos on YouTube. Oh, thanks very much. And your broad range of teachings from different spiritual disciplines. Mm. I have one hard question. Mm. I have been contemplating on this for a long time. That is, should you keep releasing or straight away cut all that and stay as witness or nothing, so to speak? Um, and remain there no matter what. So now we are talking teachings of Dr. Hawkins versus Muji. Mm. In particular, I've been doing both. Mm. But why does it seem that releasing leads to a lot of miracles mm. or spiritual experiences? Mm. I heard a lot of stories from Hawkins' life, but I myself never had a single spiritual experience which seems that releasing gives you real progress. Oh. It's like as if you stayed as witness. Uh, you are not bringing out energy all through other schools of thought, tell you all that is not real. I'm not disregarding thoughts or feelings, but sometimes if you release a lot, you get caught up with your, with your mind and keep creating stories and problems to be solved but don't know why Hawkins' teaching seems progressive and does miracles or experiences uh, or experiences of oneness. Some stories of Hawkins seem very elusive for us to have, like he said once that he literally went to hell and other realms. Why well, I didn't hear Muji or others uh, reaching such states. Mm. I know the goal is not to do such things, but sometimes these things are an indication of progress. Thank okay, thank you for your... now thank you for this question. I wasn't fully really understanding your question, but I'll try and read it again. Um, um, so but um, in terms of I mean at the moment um, you know I'm, um, my main teacher is Hawkins. I really liked, uh, you know, I was seeing Muji in London in 2008, and I really like his videos from that period, but I no longer am sort of keeping up to date with, uh, with Muji, and Hawkins is now my, my sole teacher. However, um, I do, I mean, the observer for me, which was essentially, I'd say, in my words, sort of a lineage sort of self-inquiry, sort of, I'd say the father-ish of that is Ramana Maharishi. Uh, and what am I? Um, and I do practice being in the observer. Um, I think what you're saying is you're finding Hawkins better than Muji. You're getting more miracles. I think that's what he's saying. Um, uh, but I could be wrong. I mean, whatever you're doing, um, uh, if you're just practicing the observer, well, if you're practicing the, being in the observer and you're getting lots of miracles, and I, mean, I would keep doing that, you know, because it's working. Uh, if you're doing like feel the feelings or counselling beliefs or just reading Hawkins' work and you're getting lots of miracles, I th there's one thing, you know, like Hawkins says, by, by its, you know, sometimes at different stages, different things are more appropriate. You know, like uh, at, some, at some point you might make more spiritual growth by just practising being in the observer or there might be a greater aptitude for that. And then at sometimes it might be listening to Hawkins and doing feel the feelings and counselling the beliefs and you might experience greater growth for a period doing that. And sometimes it's like certain things at certain points in, spirit, in spiritual journey, it's like your intuition tunes you in to do something. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the highest teachings are not always the right, right for every situation. Mm -hmm. Like you'll, I find like if I've got something very, very heavy, like if someone, someone steps on my foot, you know, and uh, then I, I'm, I'll probably intuitively, because I practice feel the feelings so much, I'll become one with the pain and just mm -hmm. allow, allow myself to experience it. Mm -hmm. I intu intuitively know that I wouldn't practice the observer on that one because it's so, so aggressive and so fast mm -hmm. that I know to go into it because I've, I've gone through so many cramps and, and pain attacks that I know feel the feelings is intuitively the best. 
Um, if I, um, with the observer, the observer is much more easier to do when I'm quite serene or peaceful. I mean, it's just to go into a deeper observer is very easy. And then if you're in a deep observer, going into a deeper observer and then trying to sustain the observer throughout the day is going to be easier. So, but also sometimes I might go like, you know, karmic situations may flare up. And then I'll intuitively be thinking, like, I need to cancel beliefs now because, you know, I'm being, uh, it's like some situation is flaring up and it's like this karma has now come for me to face right now. Mm. So, and I know that, yes, doing the observer on it's going to be very nice, doing the feel of feelings, but I feel intuitively that I have to, like, instead of this person, I can see peace, God is a lover, which I feel, I cancel my belief, I'm a victim of this person. And I feel intuitively that it's a heavy karma and I want to do some heavy, heavy duty counseling and course of miracles on it. Whereas the observer is very, very nice to get into good states, but it's like I want something specific, like I want to grab this person's name and pray for them, you know, yes. rather than just go to the observer, which is much more of a, it's a beautiful thing to do, but you don't feel like you're grabbing a specific karma and like trying to like take it out of your consciousness. like. You know, God is loving which I forgive X, whoever they are, you know, or I pray for a miracle to see X differently, or I cancel my belief I'm a victim of X. I cancel my belief X is a manip manipulating blah, blah, blah. You know, so I, want, I, feel, I feel intuitively like I'm going to do that now because I think this is a heavy karmic thing. And whereas um, feel the feelings is very nice when I've got a lot of feelings coming up, fear, anger, or guilt. The observer is very nice for getting into these extremely blissful states. But intuitively, if I feel like a karmic baggage person has suddenly come into my life, I would want to like, you know, the Course in Miracles says in Lesson 14, like, don't be general, be specific. Mm -hmm. You know, it says like, don't say, in lesson, if you read Lesson 14 of Course in Miracles, it's basically how to cancel beliefs. It says like, don't say, God did not create bad health. Be specific. God did not create prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, be, you know, look, I, uh, you know, God didn't create bad health. You want to like name because it's a program, mm -hmm. or or it's an old adversary, karmic adversary. So you want God to be specific to ask God to remove that that very limited program or that limited person. So you know, like I want to say, like I don't want to say, like God help me forgive everyone on the whole in the whole world when it's, you know, it's this specific, you know, I want to say their name, say uh, this manipulating person who's called X, you know, uh, you know I, I pray to see that person differently, but I pray to see everyone differently, you know, so, so, um, but um, in terms of, uh, so I'm trying to answer the question, like if, in between Hawkins and Muji, I mean, sometimes, or I'd say between Hawkins' teachings or feel the feelings or cancelling beliefs and just listening to his work and or being in the observer all the time. So, um, you know, allow your... or just pray, like, intuitively. But generally speaking, if something's giving me a lot of progress, I'll do that. Mm. If I feel I'm getting a lot of relief from cancelling a belief, I'll carry on doing that. I'll feel energetically I've done enough of that. Now I'll, I'll go to the observer or... I've got a heavy feeling, then I'll do heavy, feel the feeling. So just intuitively allow, and sometimes that might change. You might feel like I'm going to do a lot of observing for the next month, and then you might feel no, I now want to cancel beliefs and I want to do court or the course. So choose. In terms of, I do feel that obviously if you're in a good space and you've been in a good space for a, a while, being, going into the observer is a good thing to do. I do think if you've got heavy feelings, feeling the feelings is good to do. I do think if you're having a physical illness or if you're having a specific person give you a lot of grief, I do think counseling beliefs in the Course in Miracles is quite good to do because I see that as a karmic, karmic relationship and some heavy duty work around, you know, also Hawkins work on um, the anti-karma prayer. You know, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who was a donut thief in this lifetime and past life. If you're stealing my donuts, then, and you keep stealing my donuts every day, it's like, why are you stealing my donuts? You know, why have, why have you come into my life? So I'll intuit that this thing is like, okay, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me. 
I link to it, I probably stole your donuts in the last lifetime, and so you're back. And so I've got to be, if I want forgiveness for having stole your donut, donuts last lifetime, I have to forgive you in this lifetime for stealing my donuts. You're innocent, even though I'm, my ego might say you're guilty for stealing my donuts. But really, for, for you to forgive me, I have to forgive you now for what you, I did to you last lifetime. Mm -hmm. And then that's paid off. So um, I didn't 100% answer your question, maybe, or maybe I did, but just send me another YouTube comment if I didn't answer that.